This is my RX-7, and as you can tell, it is missing a relatively vital part, the engine. In part 1 of the 13B rebuild, we've already assembled about half of the engine. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to click on the info card in the top right corner and check it out before watching this video. That said, welcome to part 2, let's finish this. Let's continue right where we left off in the previous video. Here, I'm putting the new inner and outer coolant seals into the rear iron before lubing everything up very well. The rear iron is also the last piece of the block itself, and after lowering it carefully onto the rear housing, it's time to put the 18 long bolts in, which sandwich the entire engine together once tightened. And of course, I'm not rebuilding an engine without throwing some upgrades in. So I also bought a new extremely light flywheel and counterweight, as well as a new clutch with all of the necessary accessories, such as a brand new master and slave cylinder, throwout bearing, as well as a braided clutch line. Now that the lightweight flywheel is on, I can put the giant 54mm nut onto the E-shaft. I will be tightening this later, but for now I will just put it there so I don't lose it. Now we need to take care of a very essential part of this engine build, assembling the front stack. On the front stack you will find your oil pump drive gear, the OMP gear, two Torrington bearings and a spacer. Oh and I almost forgot, obviously also the front counterweight. Okay guys, now we are done with assembling the front stack. As you can see, we have our chain that drives the oil pump as well as our OMP gear, the counterweight and the little woodruff key that connects everything. I've already put the new front cover gasket on as well as a new O-ring right here. And now it is time to put this beautiful pink front housing on. Super excited for that. And after that, we will try to turn it over. I should have probably done this earlier, but no risk, no fun. Oh, and this is also the point where I realized that I was dumb and already put the entire water pump assembly onto the front housing. So I had to take everything off again before finally fitting the front cover. All right, and now we can finally put the water pump assembly back on because I was kind of dumb and I put it on before I put the front cover on. Okay. So let's turn this thing over to install the flywheel locker because then we can actually install the front main bolt or whatever you want to call it. Okay, to be honest, I'm actually a little bit nervous because, well, this is basically the moment where I will see whether or not my rebuild was successful or, yeah, if this thing even spins over. I got my wrench with a 19mm socket. Let's put it on there and see if this thing spins over. Oh my god. Ooh, baby! That sounds like some good compression, actually. And well guys, that's actually my first ever engine rebuild and well, also my first ever 13B rebuild and I think this turned out insane, just look at this thing. Now guys, the only thing that's left to do now is to put all of the accessories such as the intake and exhaust manifold on and the turbo and basically all of the other stuff that we need and then we can finally put this thing back into the RX-7. I actually cannot believe that this worked but we're not 100% there yet so let's just um, knock on plastic bumper and hope for the best. <laughs> 